this play add to the fame of James Joyce? I don't think fame, I don't think that Joyce was interested in fame. What he was interested in was writing his own work. But what it certainly adds to is that it, um, it adds to the intrigue and the interest and the background to uh, James Joyce and what drove him on, what his absolute obsession to write these brand new works of, uh, uh, that he wrote about Dublin. Yes, certainly it adds to it, but fame wasn't one of his, uh, his interests. one of his forte, yeah. shall we say. Is this play for connoisseurs or for a wider audience? I think it covers both. I think it covers both. It certainly covers, uh, it would be of huge interest to people who know about Joyce and know the background, but also it will add to to the, the knowledge that people strive for about what made this man so famous. So it, it will sort of add a huge amount of interest to his background and his family and where he came from, etc. What is the highlight of this play? The highlight for me is to see, as I said, you know, to see Joyce at 28 years of age in Trieste in Italy and he's there struggling, he's drinking too much, but he's struggling as a writer. And then to see him in the second part of the evening, in 1939, when he is now 57 years of age and within 18 months of dying, and he's leaving Paris because the Germans are on the way in the, in the Second World War, and he is now the great writer of the 20th century. And to see that, that is a real highlight for me and anybody else, to see this man at the top of his career. Tell me something. Um, is it true that... Uh the onlookers always think that there was a love-hate relationship between Ireland and James Jones or vice versa. <laughs> I think there's been a lot of love-hate relationships between Ireland and, and writers, Samuel Beckett, John McGahern, etc. So yes, he did. But you see, the great thing about Joyce is he never wrote about anything else other than about his city of Dublin. And yet he, want, he, he, he lived in Trieste, in Paris and in Zurich. And yet he never wrote about anything else other than Dublin, the city that he was born in. So it surely it was a love-hate relationship, that's for sure. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Vincent. Thank you.